What up, YouTube? T-Movies here. Now, one of the most underrated action films, or films in general in recent years, was Atomic Blonde, based on the comic book Dakota's, uh, Dakota City, starring Charlize Theron. Probably one really cool scene with Charlize Theron and Sofia Mattel. I mean, that scene's... I don't even know the details, but that scene was pretty awesome. Anyway, uh... Now, it has been reported that Atomic Blonde 2 is officially being developed for Netflix instead of Focus Feature. Which, I guess I could see why they're bringing it to Netflix instead, because, you know, Atomic Blonde wasn't that much of a hit. You know, it only grossed 100 million at the box office, working from a uh, 30 uh, million budget, so I could. The movie did not really do so well. So, uh, it. To be honest, I will totally watch this on the big screen, be another Atom Bomb on the big screen, because it's definitely, the violence and action is meant for the big screen. But anyway, the original film, the, the first film, um, Star Charlize Theron, was directed by Deadpool 2 director David Leach. Uh, you also had Toby Jones, John Goodman. Now, no word on if uh, David Leach is also going to direct this, but he has a few other stuff uh, in the works as well, so... Yeah, I probably don't really see David Leach uh, retiring. But really, Atomic Bond kind of felt like it could have easily had been a uh, female John Wick. You know, it had been a John Wick feel to it. I'm not saying that because the um, same director is from, you know, is from the same director, John, um, a John Wick, but it does have um, some great uh, action secrets that John Wick had. Uh, the hallway scene is pretty cool. I mean... Atomic Blonde is pretty straight up awesome, and if you guys haven't really seen Atomic Blonde yet, go watch it. It's a really fun action flick, and I think um, you know them producing um a new one for Netflix could be interesting. I mean, Netflix is usually hit and miss with their uh, films, but uh, you know they also actually did a, a combo adaptation which was a polar with a uh, Matt Mixon, which felt like a male version of Atomic Blonde in a weird way, and. So, I mean, hey, if they do, if, I mean, if they, uh, you know, really fully make this uh, a Tom Blonde sequel, sign me up, and especially Charlie Theron coming back could be pretty cool. Probably Sophia Patel's not going to come back, but, uh, hey, who, who knows, maybe it'll still be decent. Uh, let me leave you guys. What are your thoughts on Netflix developing a sequel to Atomic Blonde? Are you interested in checking out Atomic Blonde sequel? Uh, were you a fan of the first film? Drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This here is Timur signing off.